The small-minded narcissists on the YouTube trust and safety team have been targeting my channel. What the censorship squad doesn't seem to realize, however, is that I'm not here to build a YouTube channel. I'm here to build an empire. A gang of cowards blocking content from the comfort of their safe spaces can take down a channel, but they'll never be anything more than mere speed bumps on the road to an apologetics empire. You want to be part of an empire? Then it begins. All right, Apologetics Empire, Project One. This is mainly for those of you who speak another language and who want to make materials available in your language. I'm going to have a team put together a website. What's going to be on that website? That's where you come in. When I make a list of all of the most important topics in Islam-focused Christian apologetics, I end up with somewhere around 50 topics. What is Islam? Who was Muhammad? Was Muhammad a true prophet? What is the Quran? Has the Quran been perfectly preserved? Was Muhammad mentioned in the Bible? Who is Jesus? Where did Jesus claim to be God? If Jesus is God, how could he die? If Jesus is God, why did he pray? Can we trust the New Testament? Can we trust the Apostle Paul? Things like that. Now, if Christians were to learn to respond to questions on all of these topics, it would change the world. I like the idea of changing the world. So, how do we get Christians to learn to answer all of the most common questions that come up in discussions with Muslims? Here's the plan. I've talked to Jorge, who's with Cross Examined, Frank Turk's ministry. A few weeks from now, we're going to start releasing one video per week on the website I just mentioned. Don't ask me for the website yet. It hasn't been made, but it will be. And we'll post one video per week. Each video will be four to six minutes long and will cover one topic. I'm going to release the video in English. Jorge is going to release the video in Spanish, not Spanish subtitles. He's going to translate the video and re-record the video in Spanish. So at the beginning of each week, we'll release a video in English and the same video in Spanish. And we'll have the full transcript there. You then have one week to take the transcript, translate it into another language, re-record the video in this other language, post your video on your YouTube channel, and send us the link. Then we'll add the link to your video on the website, and we'll tell people that that's where to get the video in your language. So the website will give a topic, let's say, where did Jesus claim to be God? And then there will be a link to the video in English, and a link to the video in Spanish, and a link to the video in Arabic, and a link to the video in Urdu, and a link to the video in Farsi, and a link to the video in French, and so on. Again, one video per week for 50 weeks. At the end of 50 weeks, we will have an entire video series covering all of the topics Christians need to know in order to engage their Muslim friends. Once we've got that video series in multiple languages, I'll send you a study guide. You can translate the study guide as well and we'll post your study guide along with the links to all of your videos. Having a study guide combined with the video series means that you will have a complete apologetics course in your language. That apologetics course can be used by churches, student ministries, individual Christians, and so on. If you've already got a YouTube channel, or if you've been planning on starting one, this is a perfect opportunity to build your channel. Posting a new apologetics video every week for 50 straight weeks and having us send people who speak your language to your channel will help your channel grow very rapidly. Now, on YouTube, content is king. The most important part of a video is the content. I'm going to give you awesome content. Your main goal should be to make a good translation. You might want to work together with a couple of Christian friends on this, once you've got a good translation of the transcript, recording and posting will be pretty easy. I understand that some people may not have much experience recording and editing and posting, 
So before we actually get started, I'll make a video covering all of the basics of recording and editing and posting. If you've got equipment, that will be helpful. If not, we can make that work too. I've been making videos for many years. I've made videos using borrowed equipment. I've made videos using very cheap equipment. I've made videos using expensive equipment. I've made videos using nothing but my cell phone. So whatever your situation, we can make it work. I would advise you not to put your face in videos if you live in a dangerous area. In other words, I would rather have a Pakistani who lives in America record the video series for Pakistanis. But if you do live in a dangerous area, you can always record the video, but instead of putting yourself on the screen, you can just put text and graphics. I'm going to post my video series on my other YouTube channel because this YouTube channel could be shut down anytime. So if you want to be part of Project One, be sure to subscribe to my other channel. The link is in the description box. In the comments, let me know if you're interested in working with me on this project. I've never done anything like this before, so I have no idea how many people will want to be involved. I don't know if we'll end up with the series in five languages or 20 languages. But however many languages we cover, the people who speak that language are going to have an awesome tool for apologetics and evangelism. Also, if you say you're interested, let me know what language you'd like to make videos in. If there are a couple of people who plan to make videos in the same language, maybe you could team up. Also, if you don't want to make videos, but you see someone who's interested in making videos in your language, maybe you could help out in other ways. For instance, maybe you could chip in to help someone get a microphone or a camera or something. All right, that's the plan. I'll go into more detail in the very near future. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.